Hello everybody, it is um, Sunday the 2nd of July, although it's very close, no, August, although it's very close to Monday the 3rd. Uh, I'm currently still reading The Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie, I've got this old Pan Books edition. I'm uh, quite enjoying it so far, it's the first Tommy and Tuppence book, it's also a very early Christie. So it's got that going for it and a full review of that will be coming soon. Yeah, yeah. All right, sorry about that. I realized I'd made a cock up um, in my latest radio show. Play some music that somebody sent me, but he swears in it, so I've had to edit it out. Listen. The great victory is so intense. They fail to see it makes no. Beep, he said a naughty word. I long the godless don't do. But anyway, it is finally done, so that is this week's episode are completed. Um, I have some other stuff to do, so I'm going to film a cover reveal video in a bit. Um, well, I don't think I actually need to yet. I'm going to tick that off for now because there's not much I, I can do. Um, basically, I've started working on my edits for Meat now, my novel. Um, the one that's set on a factory farm. It's my third round of edits that I've had back from my editor. So there's literally just some really tiny tweaks I need to make. And then, um, yeah, then I just need to read back through it and it's good to publish. It's going to be self-published. Um, so I just need to give it one last final read through really. And then it'll be out later this year. So I'm going to write some um, articles for my website and do like a cover reveal and stuff. I uh, haven't been to bed. I didn't sleep last night, but I did sleep a lot the day before. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just chilling with Biggs at the moment, aren't we, Biggs? We're just hanging out. I've just got your belly. Um, I finished reading The Secret Adversary, which is uh, by Agatha Christie, the Tommy and Tuppence book. I gave it probably a pretty solid 3.75 out of 5, and there will be a full review of that on my channel, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And now I'm currently reading Pericles, Prince of Tyre by uh, William Shakespeare. Um, and it's one of the really beautiful facsimile editions. I'll show you, hang on. I'm gonna clean up some of the mess the cat's made here. Here's a guy, here's a guy. I don't know which character this is. Sorry, I'm trying not to lose my page. Uh, but you can see the interior layout of it's really beautiful as well. So these are really nice editions. Um, so I'm enjoying it. It's not as good as, um, well, I read Coriolanus. Yeah, I think that's what it was called recently. And um, The Merry Wives of Windsor and both of those I enjoyed for very different reasons. Um, but this one isn't kind of competing with them yet. But I am still glad that I'm reading it because it's always good to read some Shakespeare, you know. So that's, so that's where we're at. I'm going to crack on reading my Shakespeare. I'm going to do my walking a little bit up the hill to drop some parcels off. Um, and then I'm going to work like crazy because I think I'm volunteering at the Arts Centre tomorrow. Uh, well, I guess I get paid for it as well now because I work there. But you know... Um, it's going to basically I'll be spending most of my time tomorrow I think helping to set up a venue for a, an art exhibition we're doing uh, which I guess is fine it's just I have crap loads of other stuff to do as well so I'm going to try and get ahead with as much as I can you know and we'll see Biggie's he's been very cute he was just licking his hand but he stopped now because he knows I was talking about him Not much to see here folks, I'm currently watching that chapter on uh, uh, on YouTube. So uh, I've just recorded, I've just been, oh let's do this. Okay, so I worked until pretty late last night, until like 4 or 5 a.m. Got up this afternoon, went straight to help at the art centre. So I was there for a couple of hours, uh, I've been back, I've just been recording, uh, basically me giving a short reading from some of my lockdown work. Hey Biggie. Um, and so that's going to be on display there as well. Uh, I have some books to update you on, so I will update you on those in a little bit. Hey, Biggie. Oh, it's a good job you bit my Fitbit and not me, isn't it? Um, yeah, he's been a little diva this evening as usual. I have so much to do, constantly so much to do. Uh... Biggie, did you just press play? I think he pressed refresh, that's slightly more inconvenient um, okay I guess I'll give you an update so I finished reading um, bloody Pericles is it called Pericles I've already forgotten the Shakespeare play I was reading I was like 3.5 out of 5 um, 
after Titus Andronicus and the Merry Wives of Windsor, it wasn't particularly good, to be honest. Um, and then I read Dr. Seuss, the star-bellied snitch... Oh, just the Sneetches. The Sneetches and other stories. And so there were like four in this, so they were quite good. Uh, it was nice to read me... Fucking made me jump. It was nice to read me a bit of Seuss. And uh, now... That was probably like a 3.75 out of 5. I've got 10 of them from eBay, so I'm just going to slowly work through them. Um, and then I'm now currently work working my way through The Science Fictional Solar System by Isaac Asimov. Um, which is, there's a story for the sun and then each of the planets. And there's like Arthur C. Clarke and a few others in this, uh, including Asimov himself. But what's made me chuckle actually is that... Uh, it's got one for Pluto as well, and Pluto's a dwarf planet now. I remember when Pluto was a regular planet. I'm so old. The planets have changed. That is really bleak and depressing. I also was making everybody feel crazy old the other day. Right? I'm 31 years old, but I was born in 1989. So I've lived through the 80s, the 90s, the 90s, the tens, and the 20s. I'm in my fifth decade. Half a century. <laughs> All right, anyway. Knew the location of the body and Edna affirmed that she... Hello! This is Mr. Davis I'm watching now. He's another one of these true crime channels. I am still reading the science fictional solar system. As you can see, I've made a good dent. I'm probably not going to do a review of it because I don't have enough to say about it. Although it is very good. Um, so, like, I'm enjoying reading it. I just don't... I think I would have... The review would have been, like, two and a half minutes because there's maybe half a dozen pages at most that I would have tabbed. Um... But yeah, I've been enjoying it, and so I'm um, cracking on with that. I'll probably read some Dr. Seuss next, and then another Shaky Spear, and then another Dr. Seuss, and then maybe another Christie. We'll see. I'm trying to go through a lot of the, the job lots I've been buying. Um, I've got some dislikes on my haul video, and I think it's probably because I'm buying books and reselling them, and I think some people have a problem with that. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> Hello, it is Friday. It is 11.36 a.m. on Friday morning. I have not slept. I went to bed yesterday. I don't think I showed you. I knackered my arm. Look at my arm. Oh, uh, it's actually quite painful to turn it, but... Yeah, I, I, dropped a, I dropped a display board on it. It's very stiff and sore today. Uh, yeah, look at that. Look how bad it is. It's not ideal. Um, so yeah, that was two days ago while we've been doing the setup. As I say, I haven't been to bed. Um, well, I slept a lot yesterday. I need to go and get a wrist support for my arm, really. It's kind of that bad, which is annoying. So I might pop out in a minute um, and do a quick trip to Tesco to get some food in as well. And then I need to go to the art centre in a little bit um, to help put some sort of curtain up. Um, and I want to get a few photos and a little bit of video footage as well. And then presumably, I mean, tomorrow's the launch day for this exhibit. So I'm presumably going to be there. Well, it's open both tomorrow and Sunday. So I'm presumably going to be there both tomorrow and Sunday. And then I'm just trying to fit in as much of my other work as I can. Although I'm not doing too bad. I mean, looking at my work now. I have another two hours and 20 minutes to do. And then I've only got what's due today, which to be fair... How much is to how much have we got here during total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus the forty minutes. So I've got another seven hours and twenty minutes of work that I need to do ideally before the end of the weekend. So even if I do another hour or two today, then another hour or two Saturday, another hour or two Sunday, I can stay on top of it. And I'm still reading the science fictional solar system and it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Um, I've almost finished now though. Probably, I might even finish it today. We'll see. Alrighty, it is uh, just coming up to half eight on Friday night. Um, I will be going to bed fairly soon, I think. Probably about half ten-ish. Um, back at the art centre at 11 to set. We're doing an outdoor bottle bar at the uh, exhibition. So I think I'll be there from like 11 till 6, something like that. I don't know. Uh, so I've been trying to get some other bits of work done in the meantime because it's Deadline City, man. Uh, I've also been recording my latest radio show, um, so that's going to be interesting. That is with um, Isabel Kenyon, who is a poet and also uh, uh, a publisher as well at Fly on the Wall Poetry Press. So that should be good. Um, I've basically finished the science fiction or solar system. I have like 10 pages to go on. I'm on the last story. Um, so overall, I'll probably give it like a... It's like a 3.5 out of 5. It's not the best Asimov anthology that I've read, but 
hey ho, I'm still glad I read it. Mm. I'll try and take my camera tomorrow as well. Hopefully I wake up. Oh, do, do. Hello, it is Monday. I'm sorry I haven't... Oh my lord, the cat's jumping at me. I'm sorry I haven't updated you guys for a couple of days. Uh, so yeah, it's Monday the 10th of August. Basically, it's just been mental. So I worked Saturday and Sunday at the Arts Centre, um, which was good. A lot of people came to the event and uh, we did lots of very cool... So it's like an art exhibition. I am going to do, hopefully, like a little vlog of it um, because we can use that from the Arts Centre as well. Um, but it's just getting time, so I think on Wednesday it's probably not going to be too busy, so I'll probably get a little bit of footage done then. Um, so that should be good. And then I can use that both for the art centre and I'll put it in a little one of my reading vlogs. But yes, so I worked at that, bringing people beers and stuff. It was very nice. It was a good little event. I saw a lot of people I hadn't seen for a while. Uh, we even had some live music outdoors in the garden, so that was nice. And uh, yeah... I've also been cracking on, so I've read a couple of Dr. Seuss books and a Shakespeare. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into too, too much detail here because I am going to film my wrap up in a little bit as well. But I read uh, Mr. Brown Can Moo Can You by Dr. Seuss and Scrambled Eggs Super by Dr. Seuss. And they were both sort of just okay, weren't they, Biggs? They were just okay. Um, but I am glad I read them, you know. And I also read down here all's well that ends well in the lovely um folio society edition so uh, not my favorite of the shakespeare plays but um i would say there was a dozen or so bits that i did really enjoy um like little bits of dialogue and things like that and now i'm reading the hollow by agatha christie that biggie's trying to sit on but i've just taken it from him so i'm reading that and um it's quite good Oh, but yes, that brings us pretty much up to date, so I'm going to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.